So I'm gonna show you how I do a messy bun when I wanna put a little bit of effort into my hair, not just like throw your hair on top of your head, messy bun. So this is day four hair, which helps me when I wanna do a cute messy bun. Cause if I do it on hair that's too clean or soft feeling, it just kind of makes the messy bun fall flat and not hold its shape as well. The first thing I'm gonna do is really shake out my hair. Cause if I've got big hair, when I pull it up, it'll help make a bigger bun. If I've just woken up and it's like really flat, when I pull it up, it'll be a smaller bun. So I'll flip my head over, shake it out. If you've got really curly hair and you like to pick out your hair, you could do that. I'm just gonna shake and scrunch. Looks violent when I watch it on the phone. Like an animal. Okay, now that it's nice and big, one big tip I would say would be to use either a scrunchie or I've got these hair ties that are a bit thicker. These are from Gimme Beauty. I got them on Amazon and the light's not very good in here, I glow. It helps to have a thick hair tie so when you put it on top of your head, there's more width so it sticks up off your head a little bit. Depending on the look you want, sometimes I'll just have no part but when I wanna have like a cuter messy bun, I will have a little bit of a part. All I'm gonna do is Nothing too tight. Loosely pull my hair to where I want it when I like mine pretty high. And I'm just gonna wrap the hair tie, pull my hair through. These are pretty tight, so I only need to do two. And instead of pulling my hair all the way out on the second time, that's it. <laughs> and then what I do is I pull it up a little higher to where I want it. It looks a little crazy when you first do it, not that cute, but so now what I do is I go on the sides. I really like to make mine look loose. I don't like it tight to my head like that. So I'm gonna take two fingers and loosely pull at the edges to start loosening it up. Also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out a couple pieces gently around my face. And they might be a little weird. I'll probably have to add a little water to some of them to refresh them. It's all about adjusting. I think having out a little bit around your face ugh, really makes it look like you didn't try even though you did try. That's the goal. Look like you didn't try but you did. Okay, so the top I pulled out too much. When you spread it out too far, it kind of does that. I'm gonna pull it up because I like it high. But I'm just gonna take some of this and tuck it into the hair tie. I like having some hairs out, but this is too much. So I'm gonna take those and tuck them in. This side got weird when I pulled some out, so loosely just gonna grab it. And bobby pin. I like to use a few bobby pins when I do my messy bun. Some days I need more, just depends on how my hair is acting. I'm gonna pull a couple out in the back here so that it looks just really like I just threw it up. I usually hold the bun while I do this, but I pull a little bit at the back so that it looks loose and doesn't look flat up to my head. If there's any pieces falling out, I will loosely bobby pin those up. How come these always turn out when you, no one's gonna see you and then the day you try to show people, it looks weird. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to these and bring back the curl so they're not so fuzzy. And this is the final result. Sometimes throughout the day I might pull up the middle a little bit if I feel like it's sliding down at all, but I hope it was helpful.